Hi guys, I'm Raval. Welcome back to this Agile Scrum training series. This is part five, the daily Scrum meeting. So as usual, here's a list of what the Scrum training series actually contains. We are number five today, the daily Scrum meeting. So here's an overview of the daily Scrum, or as it's also known, the daily stand-up. The product owner, the development team, and Scrum Master are present during this meeting. The product owner is actually optional. The team reports to each other. This meeting promotes collaboration. The Scrum Master's role is to manage the meeting, and this meeting can take up to a maximum of 15 minutes. The three questions. These three questions is what each team member needs to ask themselves when they are reporting to the team. They should then report these answers to the team. So the three questions are, what did I do yesterday? What will I do today? And what impedes me? The reason for these questions is to make sure that there's a structure to what you say and what you say is actually valid to the other members in the team. It is quite important for the other team members to understand or to know what you are doing because when you say that, okay, I'm stuck with something here, I'm unsure how to move forward, it gives the rest of the team the opportunity to say, well, actually, you know what, I've had that problem before, I know how to deal with it, I can help you after this meeting. So what happens is problems get identified earlier and team members get the support they need quicker. So here are some good practices that you can follow in your daily stand-ups. So here's number one, actually stand up during the meeting. Having people sitting down, still at their computers, can be very distracting to each person. Having them stand up um, makes them concentrate more and it's just much better for your team. Number two, the scrum master needs to keep the team on topic. Topics that involve a few team members need to be discussed outside this meeting. Like I said, team members can say, look, you know, I can help you with that. But what they need to not do is start helping that team member in the middle of the meeting. So I've been in meetings where one team member says, I'm actually stuck with problem A. Another team member says, I've had problem A before. This is solution B. This is how it works, etc., etc., etc. In the middle of the team, and some members have been too shy to say, uh, "Look, we can't have this now. It's taking up some time. Can you not talk outside the meeting?" It's actually the role of the scrum master to say, "Look, okay, that's really good, guys. We identified an issue. We know how to resolve it now. Just hold off until the end of the meeting, and you can have your discussion later." So number four, having a product owner in this meeting can be a negative factor. So having a product owner here actually can be very bad because just remember that the product owner is actually the boss of the people or the team members. So having the product owner here is like having a guy with an invisible gun. And the reason for this is you can get some people who aren't so confident, some people who are shy, or even people who are confident, but people who just do not want to admit that they are struggling or do not want to admit that they're having a bad time and they don't know what's happening. These guys don't really want to say this in front of their product owner. Um, or oh, sorry, not in product owner, but you know, their boss, their manager. Now, this is this can be an issue. So it's down to the team and the scrum master to identify if this issue is actually happening because it's down to the individuals in a team and it's down to the product owner. So number five, speak to the team and not the Scrum Master. So when you are reporting to the team, remember you are reporting to the team, not the Scrum Master, not a senior developer, but to the team. Um, you don't really want to stand there and, and look directly at one person. You need to talk to the team because that's the point of the meeting, to report to the team, to promote collaboration between the team, not just between two people. So that's it guys, that was a pretty quick video, but that pretty much gives you a good understanding of what you should do in your daily scrum meeting. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below and please remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.